Hi everyone, it's Kasia from Terramap and I've got a very exciting unboxing to do. Um, I did actually unbox it and went through the deck just because I think just pure unboxing without me knowing even what what's in the box and what I feel about the deck. It's a little bit boring and maybe not for me, I don't know, I don't like to do it. But I did, um, I did go through the deck once and I read a little bit of the book. And this is an oracle deck, it has to do with birds, it comes from this um, gorgeous independent artist, you can find her on Instagram, it's called Golden Blue, and uh, it's a Canadian artist, there's a lot of amazing artists and kind of Taran oracle creators in Canada. What's up with that? So um, you can check and find her on Instagram and they sell the decks there and also there's some information and you get all the websites but I will link it all below in the description box and so um, I got a little yeah, I got a little booklet here to enjoy the deck, you know, and to show it off because I think sometimes it's really hard to market the decks and um, I know that uh, this is a deck that you guys, like the subscribers that are subscribed to my channel, will probably enjoy because this is something that I enjoy a lot and I know that a lot of us love the natural themes. Um, and you know how much I love birds also I collect feathers I could probably um, I could probably show you or maybe I will do it some of the feathers of the birds that are uh, pictured in this bird in this book and uh, on the card so um, this is the box birds oracle deck it's a 44 card um, deck and it has uh, original artwork obviously it feels the paper feels really good the size is like a regular tarot deck so i think it's 12 by 7 um, it feels good in the hand and the paper feels very like nearly the same as the hip chick tarot so it's this buttery really smooth uh, really you know not laminated deck here is something sweet like a sweet touch you are loved and so it's like a tag box, Decks, um, the deck um, comes out easily, so yes, the paper bandy, but you know, paper, smooth like butter, quite, um, quite thick, uh, but at the same time easy to shuffle, shuffle and um, these are the bags, and um, as I said, this is the box, you get a few cards shown. Uh, shown here so um, I will go and show you all the cards of this deck and uh, read you some of the information from the book the book is black and white um, but you get the reproduction of the card and you get the name of the bird the characteristics meaning just a quick kind of keyword or a key phrase guts and this is really cool because this is like the author's kind of um, personal some personal stories some personal experiences with the birds and an ask which is very beautiful too I love this type of um, oracle decks which uh, ask you questions also and what I found really interesting in this deck is that um, it's not shying from you know challenging you so this is for example face the issue like the first gut even face the issue and resolve it now is the time so the questions are what has happened in your life that has caused someone pain or hurt what mistake have you made um, that you are holding on to so it's not just you know all the rosy oh how beautiful it's actually quite a cool deck um, and I love the stories here as well um, so it's it's beautiful. I was surprised because sometimes with oracle decks you get you know mostly or most often the positive kind of um, twist on things. This one seems pretty real and quite um, well uh, well connected and well rounded. So uh, it has quite a few different um, different anticipated you know. Uh, problems or issues that we can face in our lives 
So let me just grab some feathers because I think that's going to be interesting. Just one sec, please. So let's just maybe go and take a look at these beautiful cards. So um, on the cards you just have a picture of the bird and you have a little number which is lovely kind of incorporated into the picture. You don't get too distracted by it. There is no other names. These are the bags I showed them before. But So um, when you go into the booklet everything is kind of you have the number up here and the picture of the card and then as I said you get um, characteristics so description of the bird and where it lives what it eats meaning face the issue and resolve it now it's the time then you give guts so then you have the story that the author kind of associates with the albatross and um, the albatross cat is here to tell you that it's time to face up to the wrong that you have done. <laughs> so that's quite unusual for an oracle deck, I think. That's pretty cool. The mistake you have made, the hurt you may have caused to someone you love. It's time to face this and it's time to fix what has gone wrong. This is something that only you can do. It won't be easy, but once you have cleared the issue, the weight of that albatross removed from your shoulders will be liberating. So... Um, I find it quite cool. So we're going to go and so this is the albatross and then we have the kestrel. I think this is American kestrel and I do have a kestrel's feather, the kestrel's tail feather and American kestrel is don't leap blindly. So what in your life is about to change? Have you thought every detail out before making the move? And they are very patient birds. So it's interesting that she sometimes uses like the quality of the bird, but then twists it uh, into the opposite, which is quite cool. So this is American kestrel with the kestrel feather. And then we go into number three. This is banana quid. So I don't have a feather of this one. Um, banana quid. Then we have the barn owl. And I actually... Um, this is look for the light, the positive in the dark, need for balance. Uh, so this is a description of the barn owl and this beautiful barn owl, how gorgeous is that? And here is also a gorgeous feather of barn owl that I received at some point from my beautiful, beautiful friend Vicky. I have found quite a few dead owls and quite a few feathers, but they mostly were um, other type of owls that live here nearby me. I can't remember the name in English now, so I'm not going to try and say it. But the barn owls, they also live in Poland, but I haven't found them. They're much rarer, at least in my area. But yeah, owls' feathers are always very silky. Like when you touch them, they like accent They're beautiful. So this is barn owl. And then we have barn swallow. I do have swallow feather but I couldn't find it now it's just a very little black here it's a very blue because maybe it's a different type um, they live everywhere in the world except for Australia and Antarctica in Antarctica but in Poland they more black than blue so I'm not sure and then we have black capped chickadee and here I have the little chickadee feathers so this is a chickadee then we have the pelican, brown pelican. I don't have pelican feathers. Or maybe I do actually. I brought one uh, from Australia, but I don't know where I put them. Um, then we have cassowary. A wise message is coming. This is a bird um, that lives in small pockets of the world, including northern Queensland in Australia and New Guinea. Um, so it's a, not a very popular bird anywhere else, but it's beautiful. And it's about a wise message coming. And then we have common loon, self-care, kindness, and heart of gold. And then we have our crow. I do have a lot of feathers of crows. They are around. And then we get this dark-eyed junco. This this one lives in North America. I don't have the. I don't know this bird, or I don't have any feathers. 
<laughs> this is a dodo. So um, he was hunted into extinction in the 1660s and it's embrace your current state. So this is quite cool. I love the description of the dodo. So she says everything we can read about the dodo tells us that the poor bird was cursed by design. It was big and heavy and its wings were too small for flight. As a result of all of these seemingly unpleasant features, it was hunted into extinction. The thing with the Dodo and with our own selves is that we often cannot change who we are. We are given these minds and bodies at birth and there is not much that we can do to change that. The Dodo God is here to tell you to embrace your current state, whatever it is, embrace it, love it. It's who you are. So what about yourself? Have you been fighting again? Uh, against and how can you learn to accept it? I love that. So I thought this message was wonderful from the extinct bird like Dodo. Then we have Egret, so it's the white um, white heron. It's quite a lot of these guys in Poland. Um, I don't have the feathers of white heron. I have a feather of the grey heron. Um, I found it now. This is Emu, so it's also in Australia. Australian bird and it's take your time and ease into things and I loved how she writes about how emus ease into sleep um, I do have some feathers of Australian emu and um, These are the little feathers so they're quite easy to recognize and there's also these bigger ones So it's very soft and fluffy and beautiful. So this one's the this the emu and then we have Golden Eagle, so that's strength, grace and leader. And I don't have a feather of Golden Eagle, but I have an eagle feather here and it's stunning. There's another one. Eagle feathers are very sacred um, and they very... Um, I got them as a gift and I found uh, the smaller ones myself, so... Um, there, yeah, that's a very special when you find an eagle feather, and it's really kind of um, kind of wrong to buy eagle feathers or something like this. It's sacred to many cultures. Poland um, is one of the countries that has eagle as um, on our herb, so we have the yeah Poland and many many countries kind of chose eagle as the leader and animal ally. So this is the beautiful grey heron, and I found a little feather which is not not long, it's just more of the fluffy one, it's grey and beautiful. And then we have a great horned owl. So I have quite a few different owl feathers, I'm not going to pull them all out, but if you collect feathers it's good to keep the feathers in those plastic bags, because other than that, otherwise, um, yeah, they might be destroyed and eaten by, you know, the dust uh, dust thingy, I don't know how to say it in English, sorry, but that's how I keep my feathers. This is um, in those bags, this is how I keep them, because other than that, other, otherwise they get destroyed and munched away. So this is Great Horned Owl, and this is about humbling yourself. And then we have this little a house sparrow that's gorgeous and then there's house wren with this little funny tail and gorgeous birds and then we have indigo bunting and it's also evolving and growing and then there's the woodpecker uh, and this is ivory built woodpecker I don't have woodpeckers feather from this woodpecker but I have uh, quite a few woodpeckers feathers um, from Polish woodpeckers. They have this round white dots which is great and the um, tail feathers are very sturdy because woodpecker actually helps itself and um, uses its tail to help to kind of balance when it sits you know on the bark like nearly in the um, vertical position. So this is the woodpecker and then we have the kiwi, the New Zealand bird, and this is time to let go. And the author writes about her um, fascination with this bird and when she went to New Zealand, how she wanted to find it. But it's a very hard to spot bird. It comes out at night, so she kind of never really managed to see it alive. But so then she had to let go of this idea. 
Um, so yeah, it's, oh, and this is one of my favorites. Of course, if you lived in Australia, you know about the kookaburra and its love. And uh, here are some feathers of kookaburra. It's from the they are tail feathers and really gorgeous, gorgeous feathers and amazing bird really makes you I miss this bird so much from Australia so that's kookaburra and then we have a fried frigati bird I'm not sure how to pronounce that frigati bird um, these are sea birds obviously so it's time to play and then we have the morning dove which is a rock bird, interestingly, our common pigeon. And then we have the mute swan, so the white swans. And here is the feather of the white swan, it's huge. Um, I found it at the Baltic Sea. Um, then we have the northern cardinal, which is also, it was on this little sticker. Uh, it's This is it, you are here. And then we have osprey. And I do have quite a few uh, different feathers um, of like ospreys and um, various kind of birds of prey. Um, and then we have pigeon the rock dove. And then we have another Australian bird which is rainbow lorikeet. And here are the feathers of the rainbow lorikeet. They common Australian bird, they live in cities, they crazy, they make so much noise, they're really happy little pigeons, they colorful, they fly everywhere, they're gorgeous and funny. So the meaning is loud, share your voice, step out. And then we have red, head, hey, red tailed hawk and I received a beautiful red tailed hawk feather from Liz. Thanks Liz. Um, so yes, red, um, red tailed hawk, gorgeous, gorgeous feather. So this is it. And then we have another interesting bird, the red winged blackbird. We have blackbirds in Poland and they sing beautifully, but this one, I don't think we have that. It's a different type of bird. It's uh, lives in North America abundantly. Rooster, obviously. Um, I'm just going to... maybe now it's a bit lighter. So this is the rooster. I do have feathers of the rooster too. Uh, Ruby-throated hummingbird. Well, I never really saw a hummingbird alive um, because they live in North America and South America, I think, but yeah, I've never seen those. Unfortunately, I'd love to. This is uh, Rufus Bellit Shakalaka. <laughs> Have some fun, lighten up. Oh, there you go. I think the name itself, it's kind of makes you laugh. And then we have Scarlet Macau and this is these are beautiful birds and I do have some feathers of the Macau here and um, also got them from friends so they kind of like both sided and sometimes you get the red backs and sometimes you get the yellow ones so they beautiful gorgeous feathers and Macau is about embracing fear and then we have Scarlet Tanager uh, I don't know this one as well. It's more American. I love that she used different birds. So then we have common seagull, which is about being authentic. And yeah, seagull, like a small seagull feather. And then um, we have snowy owl. And this is one of my most treasured, except for the eagle feathers probably, and uh, black cockatoo feathers. This is my most treasured fe feather of the snowy owl. I got at some point stunning so the snowy owl is about clear communication and how we and know when to blend and when to shine so that's cool isn't it um, and then you have another Australian bag uh, white cockatoo or here it's called sulfur crested cockatoo this is the crest the feather from the crest and there's some feathers from the little crazy birds, they're really intelligent, they're funny and this is the amazing feathers of the also the black cockatoos. The black cockatoo is not in this um, 
Oracle deck, but they're similar, but they black and they have this amazing tail feathers, they're huge. And so this is also Australian bird, so this is yellow crested cockatoo or sulfur crested cockatoo and it's about relationships and then we have turkey vulture I don't have a vulture feather, I'd love to have one but yeah, vultures don't live um, where I live so um, it's acknowledge your shadow and clean up the mess and it's also interesting how um, they have special antibacterial powers so when they deal with this dirty mess because obviously they eat carrion and they do not get harmed in the process. The vulture wants you to acknowledge your shadow, your darkness, your negativity that you cast on yourself and on others. It's time to really face it and fix it to make positive, um, to make things positive and light again. Um, they often seen as dirty birds because they eat carrion. Um, they only eat dead things, you know, so um, they essentially clean up the mess of others. So it's really interesting medicine to work with, with the vulture. Really perfect for dark moon, for cutting of ties, for clearing energetically. I actually love this bird. I think it's very powerful. And then we have uh, the wild turkey. And also have a beautiful and few feathers of the wild turkey. And um, they also huge you know the big birds and this is about morphing becoming new look for balance often they also in my culture seen as um, abundant birds so it's about abundance and giving a voice as well because they make this like really loud <laughs> golging voice so yeah you can also obviously add your own interpretation and then we have the wood duck duck feathers are also beautiful I have a few um, they gorgeous for emotional balance. I always used to use them here. It's be, be aware of what isn't true. So that's also interesting. And then the last um, card is zebra, zebra finch. And it's return to your roots, connection between past and present. So this is the, um, this is the whole oracle deck. And finally, because I was waiting since yesterday, we are going to shuffle. And we're going to pull, oh, sorry, this is a little bit messy here. We're going to, my, my room looks crazy with all these feathers spread on the floor. Um, let's just shuffle it once more. I'm also in a bit uncomfortable position because my camera is right in front of me. But let's just shuffle and pick one bird for us and read about it. And maybe we also get to see its feather, who knows? So what bird wants to come for us, to inspire us today? Oh, it's the seagull. So yes, we do have seagull feathers, I have a few. Um, but let's just read up about seagull. So not only is it like you can find it in the booklet via numbers here, but also it's uh, pretty much alphabetically um, printed. So seagull, it's a beautiful card, the feather. So let's take a look and this is a very common um, bird on every beach, at every picnic, medium sized water bird, usually most white, definitely wants to eat whatever you are having, usually eats fish, <laughs> but doesn't mind chips and fish either, <laughs> meaning be authentic. So guts, the message from the seagull. Like the pigeon, the seagull is a common sight and a common annoyance to many. We have all seen a group of gulls fight over a french fry. One successor attempting to get away from the mob in a flutter of the feathers, only to take a wrong turn, drop the fry and another gull is waiting to claim it as its own. And so the battle continues. When I see a gull, I'm always reminded of the book Jonathan Livingstone Seagull. A story of a seagull who is not like the others, one who likes to fly higher than the rest, do flips and turns and all kinds of things that are very un like Jonathan Livingstone seagull thrives on being his own bird. Now is the time to do the same. I've read this book also in my, you know, when I was in high school, it was one of the kind of cult 
uh, cult books then. <laughs> we used to all read it and um, Jonathan the Seagull, it is about individuality. So the questions you can ask our, we can ask ourselves today is who are you really deep down? Spend some time sitting in that thought. What part of you are you holding back on? How can you bring that to the surface and make it shine? So this is the seagull. So I hope you enjoyed this beautiful bird oracle deck. Um, I think it's um, the cardstock and just how this deck is made and the beautiful artwork. Um, it's gorgeous. So I hope you are going to love it as much as I love it. And um, thank you for watching and I speak to you soon. I link all the information in the description box below. Thanks for watching. Bye.